Shalom, all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahshah, Bashim Kakadash, Dovonis, to the elder apostles, great millstones. I teach you how to teach all truth and sincerity. Um, I'm going to read uh, Isaiah chapter 10, verse 1. It says, Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees, and that white right and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. Um, it's, and woe means destruction, um, cause, um, it says woe unto them. So the destruction unto them that decree unrighteous decrees, um, and Esau, Edom, you know, the red Hebrew Edomite, you know, you know, destruction is going to be destruction unto you cause you decree unrighteous decrees within your, um, your, uh, your, your, your queendom, you know, um, passing laws that are uh, a grievous thing to endure, um, and uh, especially passing immortal, immoral, slacky, immoral laws like uh, bestiality uh, laws being, uh, you know, pushed, you know, in society. Um, pedophilia laws being pushed in society, um, pushing now, sorry if I'm yawning, pushing now the Maxine Waters, uh, that's gonna be a mandatory, um, uh, pushed on the people, um, you know, no, 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 no jab, no, no job, um, soon to come, uh, by the, by this summer in, because, um, uh, that's an unrighteous decree, uh, people have to wear a mask, mandatory mask, that's an unrighteous decree, mandatory mask everywhere you go on a bus, on the train, in the store, you know, you can't eat, you know, yeah, mandatory, um, you know, there's a lot of, lot of, lot of, uh, unrighteous things that be going on in society, the laws, uh, the, the way Esau has this place set up is all wicked, you know, and it's a grievous thing to endure. Uh, but I read verse two, to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people, that widows may be their prey, and that that they may rob the fatherless, because they we we don't have no rights here in captivity. You know they rob us, they they rape, rob, and, and um, pillage us. You know for everything here they tax us. Um, out of the money that we, that we're owed, even our paychecks get taxed. They rob us, uh, daily and, uh, we're not paid the way we're supposed to be paid. And, um, yeah, it says verse three, and what will ye do in the day of visitation and desolation, which shall come from far? To whom ye flee for help, and where will you lead for your glory? So when Esau, when you gonna, uh, when when the Lord visit you to judge you, what you, where you gonna flee to? Where where you gonna go? You know, you know, cause when when the Halbash and Yasha comes to visit you and come to uh, d bring destruction upon your kingdom, Esau, you not gonna run nowhere. Um, but I'm gonna read uh, Nahum. Three and one. Um, this is a uh, Nahum three and one. It says, "Woe to the bloody city! It is all full of lies and robbery. The prey and the prey, the prey depart not. You know, it is destruction to the bloody city because this city is full with the blood of the saints. The, the, you know, the children of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans. Our, our actual blood." Is spilled on these streets everywhere we we walk. The blood of the saints is spilled. 
and even you know and uh this place uh, like it says in Nahum chapter Slaki Numbers chapter uh thirty I think it's thirty Slaki, let me I just hold on numbers let me see. Yeah, it's numbers thirty five, thirty three. But what I was gonna get to is the point is like you know, the blood of the saints is spilled and the only way the blood, you know, the blood can be cleansed is by the blood of him that shed it. So Esau, you know, the most high is going to bring destruction to your kingdom by, you know, your blood is going to be shed on this land. You know, your nation is going to be burnt up here, you know, and um, thermonuclear destruction, you know, that's how this place is going to be cleansed by fire, you know, um, and your blood is going to be completely shed on this land. That's how you're going to, you know, what's the word, amend that, that debt because that, there's no other way. And then, you know, the elites of your nation are going to be taken into uh, captivity. And then, you, you, you know, your entire nation is going to go through that slavery because Esau is going to go from being burnt here in, America, in Babylon then to be um, brought into captivity under us. But um, I'm, but um, the point of this video is is to understand that this devil Esau, you know, he has um, what's the word? You know, uh, you know, has unrighteous dealings, and um, his the kingdom basically will be uh, translated. To one people to another, but this is um Ecclesiastes chapter ten verse eight. It says, "Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches gotten by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another." Because Esau dealt unrighteously with the nation of Israel, you know, you know he showed no mercy even unto the ancient. Has he? You know, very laid thy yoke. You know, Esau continues to oppress the nation of Israel. And he hasn't let up. You know, he never will let up. You know, and that's why um, the kingdom, you know, is going to be translated from one people to another. That's why in the end that Jacob, um, it says um, Esau is in the world. Jacob is the beginning of which that follows. So in the next uh, the next people that are going to be ruling is the Israelites, you know, you know, and it will be a righteous kingdom. This, this kingdom, this kingdom of wickedness will be obliterated off the face of the earth. And after that, you know, the kingdom of heaven will be established. But anyway, I'm going to end it right here. I'm going to say all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bashim Yahshua, Bashim Kakadash, Dawanish. The elder apostle, great millstone, citation, you can teach all truth, sir.